Hey guys, welcome to question FM195 of the Further Maths Fortify Study Guide. This question reads, Sam has borrowed $45,000 to build a drone-supported hammock. He'll be charged interest at the rate of 5.8% per annum, compounding monthly. Question A asks us, for the first two years, or 24 months, Sam will make monthly repayments of $550. Find the amount that Sam will owe on his loan after he has made 24 repayments. So that's part I. Now we're going to use Finance Solver to solve this question. So in order to figure out this question we're going to need to look at 24 repayments afterwards or 24 payments, monthly payments after uh, he initially borrows $45,000. So there'll be a positive $45,000. Our interest rate is going to be 5.8% per year. We know that he's making repayments of $550, so negative $550 because he's making payments. Our future value is what we're solving for here, and we know that we have 12 payments per year and 12 compounds per year. Plugging this into your calculator should give you an answer of negative 36,560.32, which of course means the amount that's still owing is $36,560.32. Excellent. So, part II says, what is the total interest Sam will have paid after 24 repayments? In order to figure this out, we're going to need to figure out a few things. We're going to have to figure out how much Sam has spent all up, so how much he's actually paid to the bank so far, or whoever he's got this loan from. We're going to have to then find out how much he's reduced his loan by, and then we can find out the total interest that he has paid them by finding the difference. So the total amount that Sam has paid is going to just be 24 payments times $550 per payment. So we know that he's made 24 payments at this stage, $550 a pop. So that's going to tally up to 13,200. So he's paid them 13,200 all up so far. Now we're going to look at the total loan reduction. So how much he's actually reduced his loan by. So we know that he started off at 45,000 and he is going to be, and he now owes 36,560.32, which leaves him at 8,439.68. That's this is how much Sam has actually reduced his loan by. So it was worth forty-five thousand. His loan is now worth thirty-six thousand five hundred sixty point three two, meaning that he's paid off eight thousand four hundred thirty-nine point six eight, or at eight thousand four hundred thirty-nine dollars and sixty-eight cents of his loan so far. But in total, he's paid thirteen thousand two hundred. So finding the difference between these two will leave us with the interest that the bank has taken, or whoever's given him this loan. So the total interest is 13,200 minus 8,439.68, which of course is equal to $4,760.32. So that should have an II there. So that's part II. Now we're given a, a little bit more of the story. So after four years, Sam will make a lump sum payment of P dollars in order to reduce the balance of his loan. The lump sum payment will ensure that Sam's loan is fully repaid in a further two years. Sam's repayment amount remains at $550 per month and the interest rate remains at 5.8% per annum compounding monthly. Part B says, what is the value of Sam's lump sum payment P dollars? Give your answer correct to the nearest dollar. So we're gonna to have to actually solve this question in two parts. Excellent, so what we're gonna to have to figure out is how much Sam still owes on his loan after four years. And then what we can do is find out the amount that it would have to be reduced to in order to be paid off after another two years. If we find the difference between what it's worth after four years and what it needs to be to have two years left to go, we can find what that lump sum payment has to be. 
So we'll start off with what the value of the loan is after four years. So four times 12 is gonna leave us with 28, uh, sorry, 48. Our interest rate is still 5.8%. We're still starting from the $45,000 that was borrowed. We're making payments of 550 per month and we're solving for this future value at 12 and 12. So plugging that into Finance Solver, you should get a rounded answer of 27,085 and 24 cents. So 27,085 dollars and 24 cents. Now, looking at how much we'll have to, well, what the value of the loan will have to be in order to be repaid in another two years. We're using 24 payments this time for the two years, 5.8% interest still. We're actually solving for the present value in this, uh, in this uh, little solve that we're doing here. Still $550 a month in payments. Our future value after two years, we want it to be zero. And of course, 12 payments and 12 compounds per year. Chucking this into your finance solver, we'll give an answer of 12,434.85, which of course means that the value of the loan needs to be $12,434.85 in order to be paid off in another two years. So four years in, the value of the loan is $27,085.24. Sam makes a lump sum payment and the loan is reduced to this amount so it is paid off in another two years. Which means if we find the difference between these two, so $27,085.24, minus the 12,434.85, we should be left with the lump sum payment, which is 14,650.39 and rounded to the nearest dollar, $14,650. So there you have it guys, there are your three answers. If you have any questions about these answers, please drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.